Hey guys, it's Cheryl here. I decided to film a July favorites video, so if you're interested in seeing my favorite products from the month of July, then stay tuned. First thing I've been loving are the items I picked up from the MAC uh, Heavenly Creature Collection. My favorite products from that would have to be the lipsticks I picked up, which are Cut a Caper and Pleasure Seeker. This is Cut a Caper, this is Pleasure Seeker. Uh, I had to open up my backup because I've misplaced it at the moment, but hopefully I'll be able to find it. Here's a swatch of Cut a Caper. I'm not swatching my Pleasure Seeker because I have hopes of finding my actual one. So that is Cut a Caper. I have also been crazy about Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. I got this a while ago, I think with one of their palettes. It was like a summer palette. Um, I forget the name of it, but it had like that retro packaging and Sin is just like a light champagne sheen and I think it just looks so pretty on its own or even under eyeshadows but that is Sin I didn't blend it in but it just adds like a beautiful soft sheen to the lid and I just put that on my entire lid and then blend some like light brown in my crease to define it and I'm set for eyeshadow so that's been really good uh, this summer so I'm not like caking on my eyeshadow I don't typically wear a ton of eyeshadow in the summer unless I'm going out at night but that has been a favorite combination of mine to just put that on with some brown in the crease Elizabeth Arden uh, lipstick in Rose Aurora the packaging is so beautiful on this. It's rose gold and it has like their signature door design but like, I don't know, it looks like a pillar or something. It's just so amazing. It's not too heavy but it's solid and the color is really beautiful. So it's a rosy color with a rose gold shimmer in it. I would put it on my lips but I have red on and that would just be a hassle to take off so here is a swatch of that and it makes my lips look really full I think because of like the frosted effect it gives but it is moisturizing it lasts a long time I'm gonna have a full review of this on my blog or I'm gonna make a video I'm not sure yet I'm also going to be doing a giveaway so stay tuned for Elizabeth Arden giveaway Next product I've been loving and I've talked about I think a couple times is the Makeup Forever HD Powder. And this I use to set my makeup. It makes my skin look really natural. This is just good when I don't want to like adjust the color of my foundation. Typically my face is a lot lighter than my body. But right now I'm tan on both my face and my body. So I don't have to correct my foundation or face makeup that much with a powder. I just use like a translucent setting powder and this has been working really good. Another makeup piece that I've been loving is the NARS 4 Play Palette. This is what the 4 Play Palette looks like. It has orgasm, a gold highlight, a peach tone matte blush, and a hot pink matte blush as well. So if orgasm didn't work for you or you didn't like it because of the shimmer in it, you can create your own version of it by just using the matte blushes. So I absolutely love this palette because I'm a sucker for matte blushes. You gotta get a tiny little brush into those matte sections, but it's worth it. They're really pigmented, so I highly recommend this blush palette, and I will be having a full review on this on my blog. I have also been loving these Ardell Demi Wispy lashes. I was wearing the Ardell 120s all the time and I basically can't tell the difference between 120s and these uh, Demi Wispies. Like I put them side by side and I'm pretty sure they're the exact same lash but with a different name. So if you like the Ardell 120s definitely check out the Wispies or vice versa. If you're in a pinch and can't find one or the other just get the other one because I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same thing. So right now this is in like a combo pack. I bought like a ton of these off eBay. I think I got 12 for like 20 bucks so I was like steal. The next thing I have is makeup related. It is something that I picked up at Winners. I saw this. I have a couple other acrylic lipstick holders but this one is much larger. So this holds 24 I believe. I wish they had two of these because 
This is already full and I already have like one and a half of my 12s full of MAC lipstick so I definitely need to invest in another one of these. Whoa. That's so cool. It's like dominoes but with lipsticks. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I could do this forever. Oh, backwards. Yeah, yeah, work it. This was under $10 at Winners, so definitely worth it in my opinion if you want to organize your lipsticks. It is the Black Raspberry Vanilla, and I like to spray these on before I go to bed just after my shower, just so that I smell like something. Like, I don't want to spray a perfume, which is really strong, but just like a light fragrance, like that's fruity. I don't know, it just makes me sleep better. I'm weird like that. These are on clearance, I believe, at Bath & Body Works. I went in there the other day and saw that they had these like 50% off or something like that. So if you want the black raspberry vanilla, then definitely go check out your Bath & Body Works because these are on sale. And then when I was in Vegas this month, I went into Victoria's Secret. We only did a little bit of shopping. I didn't want to really go crazy and buy stuff because last time I went there, I spent too much money and this time I actually didn't buy anything really for myself besides this. So I uh, lucked out, it was probably like five dollars, but yeah that's all I spent on myself for shopping. So I did really well because Vegas, I don't know if you've been, like you could spend a fortune going to all those stores and I was at Caesars Palace so I was, I was next to all the forum shops and it, it was hard to say no, but I did. And this is the Victoria's Secret Love Spell Cherry Blossom and Peach and it smells absolutely amazing. The spray is infused with aloe vera and chamomile. This lasts like a long time, comparable to some of my perfumes even. I thought like mostly my body mist, like uh, my Bath & Body Works one, it like fades like, I don't know, within like 15 minutes or something. So enough for me to fall asleep in, but then it's like gone. But uh, this cherry blossom and peach one, it stays on me. I sprayed it in the store. I'm going to put some on now. And... Uh, it lingers like I was at work and it lasts all day as well so definitely love these fragrance mists from Victoria's Secret this is the first one I've purchased because I don't have a Victoria's Secret near me I'm sure I would get more if I did so highly recommend this scent next is another item from Bath & Body Works that I've had for quite some time now I just haven't bothered using it and it's their Blackberry Grapefruit uh, Three Wick Candle, and this smells like candy. One of my final items is a hair product, and it is the Croc Hybrid Curling Iron, and it's a one and a quarter inch. I will be having a full review of this on my blog as well, but I just used this today to curl like the ends of my hair because it was already straight, but I didn't want it straight, so I just added like a little bit of curl to my hair and it's perfect for that. It takes five minutes just to do that and uh, it's a clamp one but it's like ceramic and onyx I think they said this was. See that? But you unlock that and then the barrel spins around. It makes curling your hair so much easier and you'll like never get your hair tangled in this thing. Next I have one of my favorite pieces of clothing this month. It is the Shark vs. Mermaid swimsuit from blackmilkclothing.com. I use it as a bodysuit but it features Jaws and The Little Mermaid. I can't even go into how much I wanted this uh, bodysuit swimsuit. Cutest piece of clothing ever and I was like, so excited to get it. It was limited edition like a while back and they finally brought it back and you're able to pick it up now. So definitely check out Black Milk Clothing if you're interested in this swimsuit. It's like my favorite piece of clothing ever. So the last thing I got this month that I've been loving and using all the time is this Rebecca Minkoff purse. I bought it off my girl Andy. She has her own blog. I will link her blog down below in the info bar if you want to check it out but I bought this used off her and she has like amazing clothes shoes handbags 
so definitely check out her website but I got this and it's in such great condition I'm like I don't know why you're giving this up but I love it so much and it's just the uh, mini Mac I think I'm not sure but with the gold chain and it's real leather and it's good quality it has these like stud details on the bottom and this clasp hook here which you can open up and then there's a small zipper compartment and then inside it is patterned like this but I know a lot of her Mac bags are patterned differently inside so that's what mine looks like so that's everything from the month of July that stood out to me in terms of my favorites I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like favorites videos, be sure to like this video so that I know and that I will make monthly favorites. So thank you for watching. Thanks to all of you who have been subscribing and following me on Twitter. I really appreciate the support. I didn't know what to expect when starting my YouTube channel, but I appreciate all you guys coming from my blog and all my new subscribers here. If you haven't seen my blog and you're a new YouTube subscriber, definitely check that out. I will have the link down below. Any products that I have a review or swatches for, I will have linked to the post below as well. So definitely check those out if you're interested. I will be having reviews of certain of these products up. Uh, they're just in the works. So definitely check out my blog for that. And I will be having more videos up shortly as well. So stay tuned. I will be having a giveaway uh, soon. And I also have another makeup tutorial coming up as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!